-hmm. Yes. Okay. All righty. Perfect. So thank you guys for taking the time and coming to the our presentation here, this little meeting. Um, my name is Maurice Disley. I am a licensed physical therapist at Aegis Chiropractic and Physical Therapy. Um, I'm also the director of physical therapy here as well. Um, Aegis is right on Route 9 um, at 241 Russell Street um, in between the Hasty Fence and the Roadway Inn. Um, so a little bit about me and about Aegis. Um, I've been at Aegis for the past three years as a licensed therapist. I've actually been there for five years. I spent um, 12 weeks working with Lisa Sanderson, the director and owner of Aegis, um, as a student, and then they kept me on as an aide. Um, we actually have done um, similar events at the Senior Center in the past. We've done a balance and fall risk assessment, um, which had a really great turnout. We took everybody through a, a different set of exercises and tests, and we discussed some of the uh, things that they might be improved, they could improve on, how they can improve it, whether to get with their uh, primary care, um, recommended maybe a personal trainer, a physical therapy was an option. <laughs> we did have another one planned um, early to later um, April. And unfortunately, COVID-19 came and changed a lot for everybody, for sure. Um, as I kind of mentioned with Gladys earlier, we did have um, a period where physical therapy and chiropractic was closed down, um, but we did reopen about late May, or excuse me, late April, we've been seeing patients since. Um, some of the things that we do offer, you're getting one-on-one -on -one treatment with us. Uh, we have our private treatment rooms where we're allowing, you know, windows to be open. We're getting, we're not breathing the same recycled air. We have a wonderful cardio room with recumbent bikes and ellipticals and upper body ergonometers. Um, and then we do have a new staff and patient protocol as well to protect not only ourselves, but every patient that walks through the door. Um, but we kind of wanted to talk about through this is health and wellness during you know these times. And the big thing to think about is summer's here, the weather's getting beautiful, the sun is shining when maybe not the past couple of days, I know we've had some uh, rainstorms coming through, but even if you look outside right now, it's absolutely a gorgeous day. And you know, one of the things we wanna talk about and um, just kind of go over is, is just overall activity. Um, how much to do it, you know, what, what are some options that we have, um, overall importance. And uh, one of the big things that I, I kind of wanted to highlight here was um, water. Um, you know, that first picture right in the middle on the top, um, we want to talk about how much water to drink, um, the recommendations are more for 15 to 11 cups a day. And perfect, Joan, you're drinking water. I love to see it. Um, <laughs> and along with that, you know, we, we want to help with that because it helps with our blood pressure, decreases our risk of cramps. Uh, my favorite, it does cool down our bodies. You know, we've had a couple of days where the humidity was really, really high. And, and even if you're sitting outside, if you're going for a small walk, you know, that's a lot of output for our bodies that we want to make sure we're able to balance it. Um, they recommend usually three and a half liters for men per day, two and a half for women per day at least. And from there, it, it can fluctuate. If you've had a really busy day, maybe we want to add one or two more cups. Um, another thing that being hydrated helps with is, you know, our confusion. Um, it helps us better for our overall mental state and, and it does decrease our risk of falls. Um, Moving on from there, one other suggestion is, you know, that summer picture, one of the things I, I see first is that bright sun. Um, and vitamin D is very helpful for us. Vitamin D is really crucial, especially during this time. Um, vitamin D, which come in, you know, we can get in supplements or we can also have it from the sun, decreases our depression. You know, right now it's a very upsetting time. It's a very frustrating time for what's going on in our communities, or the whole country. Um, so the sun is gonna help just to, to lift us up a little bit more. We see those flowers perk up at the same time, you know, we get to perk up as well. Um, but more importantly, our immune system. Vitamin D does improve our overall immune system. It helps with our bone health, where some people might be on that borderline, osteoporosis, um, osteopenia, where we our bones are starting to maybe become a little bit thinner, become a little bit more brittle. Spending some time out in the sun, having a garden, going for a small walk, 
Um, and overall, vitamin D does help with our blood pressure. You know, blood pressure is one of the higher uh, risk factors for our health, but also with what's going on with COVID-19, especially our immune system as well. Um, I know they did a study where I think they were, they were calling somewhere to 40 to 60% of people that were catching COVID-19 had a, a, a insufficient vitamin D levels. So that's definitely something to take into effect um, with everyday life. And then some of the other photos, we have somebody on a bike, we have somebody stretching, we have some people going for a walk. Um, the big thing here when it comes to activity is motion is lotion. Um, you know, we have these aches, we have these pains, um, arthritis is definitely a big factor. Getting up and going for a walk or being on a bike or a recumbent bike is definitely going to help overall for our bodies. Um, when we remain sedentary, it's we're more likely at risk for things like blood clots. Our immune system is poor. Our muscular strength goes down. This is definitely something that we want to avoid. And as a physical therapist, I want to promote, you know, be active. It doesn't mean that we have to be out and running a marathon. You know, if you spend 45 to 60 minutes a day, and it doesn't have to be in one chunk, you could take a half hour walk in the beginning of the day where it's still cool, and a half hour walk at the end of the day as it starts to cool down as well. That will help with our overall conditioning, our overall strength. Um, it's just, uh, it's so important overall for a healthier lifestyle. Um, and it, it does decrease our mortality, mortality rate as well. Um, whether you're walking on the bike path, you're walking around your community, um, even in your backyard, it, it's something to just keep ourselves active. Um, Moving along from our home exercises, or excuse me, our, our activity, we may notice that, you know, my, I'm a little bit hard for me to get up off the couch, or it's hard for me to get up out of bed, or, you know, my back starts to ache as I'm doing certain things, or when I'm outside in my garden, I, I don't feel as steady. Um, and this is where our home exercises are really important for us. And, um, you know, I describe it like homework, or I describe it as just, you know, we're benefiting ourselves. Um, I have a can of chicken noodle soup um, in, the, in the PowerPoint, not only because it's my favorite soup, but um, also at the same time, it weighs about a pound. And generally when we're working with patients, as we're working on strength, we give them a one to two pound weight. So a lot of exercises and upper body strength that we can work on, you can basically do from a can of soup, a can of beans. Um, so we don't have to be too fancy with exercises. You know, even where we're noticing our tightness, you know, we can roll a ball, we can do some simple stretches that we can do standing or even at the counter. I love coming up with counter exercises to help people for their balance, as you see in the picture in the middle, or working on their squat to improve not only your bone health, it's gonna help cardiovascularly, it's gonna improve your quality of life. And, you know, as I showed you guys, I, I'm here in your beautiful, you know, fitness center. You guys have a lot of space in here. The, the, the senior center here has a lot of great um, activities and I know they're doing them online, they're doing everything on YouTube, but. When, when this place is open, I, I highly recommend it because th there's a, a lot of space. And right now, one of the big things they're talking about in the midst of COVID-19 is having space in between people or social distancing, wearing a mask. This facility absolutely can meet those needs. Um, this exercise room can meet those needs. There's windows all around me, perfect for getting that cross breeze. There's a, a secondary exit point. Um, so, there is a lot of great activities that uh, we can take advantage of locally. Um, just to kind of touch up on the home exercises, you know, we want stuff that's specific to your needs, stuff that's gonna improve you. And I, I wanna see a change for you where, you know, it doesn't bother me as much as I'm tending in the garden or I can walk further before, you know, I start to feel tired. And the activities are not meant to be time consuming. They're supposed to be something that's gonna help you guys be able to get in, get out, get the, the right things that need to get done and worked on done. And then you can enjoy the rest of your day. Because I know hearing from a lot of different people that have retired, they're a lot busier 
after uh, retirement than they were before. So that's absolutely something. And then comes into what if you need a little bit of guidance? What if you don't overall know where to start? What if the, the balance is something that's a little more, it makes us a little bit more anxious or we just don't feel comfortable maybe practicing it at home or our arthritis, just any of these different factors where we don't quite feel comfortable maybe jumping into something at the senior center, jumping in at home. Um, one of the things I, I always communicate with people is, you know, talk to your doctor and, and see if, you know, doing something like physical therapy is a great option for you. Um, overall for, I'm going to be biased and, you know, talk about our own practice. You know, we, we do provide a lot of great things for Hadley's seniors, Hadley's residents of, you know, the private treatment rooms. We're able to see people quickly. Um, and we, we were able to come up with a game plan to help you reach your goals and what you want to do. If it, your shoulders bother you for when you're reaching to the cabinet, I want to be able to design a program to help you. So when you're going into the cabinet, things feel better. Or when you're working on your garden, it, it doesn't feel too much like a chore and it feels like a fun hobby. Um, that's my biggest goal for, you know, Hadley's community and that I wanted to discuss was there's a lot of great opportunities and a lot of great things that we can do either at home through a home exercise or through the, the workouts from the senior center or even coming to the senior center when, it, when it's finally open. But as the weather gets better and, and we start to want to increase our uh, activity levels, there's definitely a lot of options out there. So I wanted to just thank you guys for coming in and thank you for sitting through this meeting. And I hope it was informative. I hope it answered some questions for you on some options that you might have. Um, and I also you know, wanted to be here as well to answer any questions that might be on your mind. Um, some things that you might want answered that hopefully I can help for you. Have um, you guys been open all this time? Um, we did close for maybe about a week or two, um, just to kind of let everything settle in. Uh, we were offering telehealth services for maybe about a month or so. And then since late April, uh, we've been seeing patients in the office. Um, we did a whole new protocol. We've got a lot more um, cleaning products. Um, we have a different structure as far as when patients are coming in, we're doing a screening process, taking temperatures. Um, all the staff has an extra 10 to 15 minutes in between patients to sterilize everything um, in mm -hmm. between patients. So we're kind of, we're really narrowing down any uh, risk factors from it. Um, and we've been slowly getting busier by the week. Um, mm -hmm. So that's been pretty helpful for us. And we've had an open line of communication between the doctors, between um, any patients, and we've kind of just been spreading the word. Um, one of the new things that we did get was a ultraviolet light, which is like a hospital grade disinfectant light um, that we've been using on uh, probably on a weekly basis just to zap and kill anything that maybe we didn't get. Um, okay. Yeah, but we've had a lot of nice new upgrades to the office, um, aside from the fact that every all the staff are wearing masks and everything as well. So um, we've got all new protocols. We just updated everything onto our website as well. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering, because it seems like every time I pass there, I never see any cars. So Yeah, we depending on the times, um, you know, our, our staff hours are a little bit limited as well. Um, we've kind of got to four, maybe four and a half days as far as... Um, seeing patients in the clinic and it's just not as busy as it once was, but um, okay. we are still, I would say maybe we're about 60 to 70% as far as our regular okay. um, workload, which is really nice. And is Dr. Ringrow seeing uh, patients these days or, or yep. chiropractors? Yep. Dr. Ringrow has been seeing patients. Uh, she maybe started a week or two after we started seeing people in the office. Um, okay. We're doing the same kind of screening process. She's doing the same kind of sterilization as well. Uh, that's kind of a whole, whole encompassing group from it. It's good to know. Okay. Maurice, in line with your uh, cooperating with the Hadley and the Hadley Senior Center, mm -hmm. are you aware of the various exercise programs that Violet has so beautifully mushroomed? 
we um, were talking about them um, a little bit earlier today, and I, I think it's great. I know that the, the yoga class isn't quite uh, able to be up for certain people. Um, I think the exercises classes are wonderful. I, I was here, um, I want to say back in January when we did our fall risk that I saw the, the chair exercises where people, everybody had their, their dumbbells and they were working out and they maybe five feet from me. And I thought that was wonderful. That, that's a, a really good overall, you know, body health and wellness that I think is great to take advantage of. I, I love the idea. Um, and, and just with time in general, you know, over the years, a lot more people, once they retire they're they want to be more active. Um, not everybody's just kind of hanging out. People are more, you know, involved in their communities. People are, you know, taking advantage of the senior center. And I'm excited to see that. Um, I, I want that to happen more. I want to see people be as active as they can be. If you want to hike Kilimanjaro, we're, we're going to do everything we can to help you hike Kilimanjaro. Uh, that's, that's my goal for everybody. And I think that the senior center does help with giving you the, the chance to take advantage of the activities. And, you know, like I said, this space here is beautiful, honestly. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want another one? If there's certain topics that you guys want answered, you know, let Viola know and she can let me know. And, and I'd be happy to come in and do another meeting with you guys and, you know, let everybody know. I, I'm more than happy to come back and, and we can make this a, a more regular thing. I'd be happy to. Okay. Thank you very I'll much. I'll get back to you and thank you everybody. All right. All right, Thank guys, you, take Tyler, care and stay safe. Happy Fourth of July. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>